Hi folks, thanks for joining me and we are talking about In Christ Jesus, the most powerful truth you will ever, ever hear in the whole of your Christian life. It's mentioned over 30 times in the letters of Paul. In Christ Jesus, in the beloved, in him. What's he talking about? He's talking about positional truth. That is now you as a believer in Christ Jesus, where you are positioned and what that actually means. Now in this session, we're going to be talking about born again. Now don't forget to use this stuff for your personal inspiration. Use it as a group Bible study. Look at the questions, look at the answers, discuss, pray, let the truths of God come into your heart. Because this is the reason why Christians in church life do not live a victorious life. They have believed the lie that they are not connected to God the Father in Christ Jesus. They have believed the lie they are not one with the Father. <gasps> that is only for Jesus and his Father. No, you're actually in Christ Jesus, so you are one with the Father. And if Satan can get you to believe you are disconnected from the Father, you will not have confidence in God, authority in God, power in God. You'll pray powerless prayers. You will not bring the kingdom from heaven to earth. You won't do what Jesus said you should do. You will not walk the life of a disciple. You'll walk the life of a backslider. And we've got those, loads of those in church today, haven't we? And we've got loads who have left the Lord because we're in the time of the great falling away. Now, what we're going to talk about in this session, born again. Now, this doesn't specifically say you are in him born again. But for you to be positioned in Christ, you have to be born again. So how were you born again? What happened when you became a Christian? We're going to talk about that when we talk about next steps for new Christians. Being born again means this. Jesus was born of a woman, a virgin. His mother, Mary, well that's a Greek name, her Hebrew name was Miriam, is incarnated into the womb. And he lives a sinless, perfect life because he doesn't have Adamic DNA. You can hear why on the teaching on kingdom, particularly of the household of David. Jesus is made sin and death and a curse. Now listen, I'm not repeating myself. I want you to get this locked into you. He dies upon the cross spiritually. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then he raises himself spiritually on the cross. Yeah, he says, my father, into your hands I commit my spirit. He's paid the price of sin, death and judgment to come. He's paid the demands of his father's justice and judgment against sin. All sin has consequence. Now listen, he dies physically. He bows his head and gives up the ghost. We do it the other way. When the Spirit of God, when, this, when our soul comes out of us and it's time to die, our head drops. But Jesus gives up the ghost. He's in control. He descends into Tartarus. That's a big subject. But when he's raised from the dead, he isn't raised from the dead in a sin, death, curse body or in a pre-incarnate Christ body or in the body, listen, that was incarnated into his mother's womb. Okay, now it's the same body, get that? It's the same body, but it's the new creation man. And Paul says he is justified in spirit. He is declared righteous because he's paid for the sins of the world and he has appeased his father's wrath against sin, iniquity and death. He's raised, he's born again, 
And this isn't the heresy, the born again Jesus, the sin substitute, a substitute sinner. This is Jesus being born alive in a new creation body as the new creation man because he's paid for the sins of the world and when he's raised from the dead his father declares this is my beloved son again I have begotten him okay and this is where you are born again because when you are now in Christ Jesus you're not Jesus but you have the same sonship, heirship, and inheritance as the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not him deity, but you are in him so closely connected, there's no join. You are one with the Father, you're born again. And that's why Paul says, we were crucified with him, we died with him, we rose with him, we ascended with him, we will be glorified with him. This powerful truth concerning being born again has been misunderstood in the church, not taught accurately, because when you know you are born again, you understand you are heirs and joint heirs with Christ Jesus in the Father. That's why it's important to be born again. Not religious, born again. Because in you is the nature of of the new creation man and we're really going to unpack it when we open up the subject what it really means to be born again that was just a concentration of a big truth that's coming along